Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and by now you've heard all about the Huawei P30 Pro. And if you haven't, it's one of the best phones you can buy today as long as you're not in the US. Mainly because it's pretty much banned throughout the United States, and that's kind of a shame as it does a lot of stuff right and it's almost the full package for a 2019 smartphone. Today's video is mostly about three different things though, and that's the three different cameras. Every year, Huawei takes the camera experience and does something radically different, and this year, it's all about zoom and wide angle. And those camera changes, plus some of the ridiculously cool software features for the cameras, makes this the ultimate camera phone of 2019 so far. So the P30 Pro has three main cameras and a time of flight sensor for better depth of field and other 3D imaging related features. There's a 40 megapixel main camera, 20 megapixel ultra wide camera, and an 8 megapixel periscope camera for up to five times optical zoom. And the 32 megapixel selfie camera is also pretty good, but it does have some overexposing problems at times and it does really smooth out your skin. Actually activating the camera though is kind of a pain. With most Android phones you double press the power button to activate the camera anywhere on the phone, lock screen within apps, home screen, whatever, but on this phone you have to double press the volume down button and that activates the camera only on the lock screen, so not the home screen, not within applications, so that's just kind of annoying. But pictures with the main camera look excellent. These shots were all done with the 10 megapixel mode, but the 40 megapixel mode gives you even more room to crop in and have more detail in your shots. There's great dynamic range, vibrant colors, and they are fairly true to life as well. It can sometimes leave highlights a bit too overexposed, but generally it can handle most situations with ease. These photos are all shot in pitch black rooms at night time, just crazy. It basically turns night to day and in completely dark rooms you can basically see everything. The wide angle camera is also tons of fun here. I really enjoy my time with the Galaxy S10's wide angle camera and this device almost has the exact same experience but the S10 does have a slightly wider field of view with its wide angle camera. Regardless though, I often found myself using this mode a lot more than the standard camera on this device. The results look amazing, there's minimal distortion, it's awesome. And the zoom camera, just wow. So you can shoot five times lossless optical zoom photos and up to 50 times with digital zoom and the results are still actually usable. There is some pretty decent software stabilization when actually zooming in for shots, but you still have to hold pretty still to get actual good looking results. But taking usable shots in 50 times zoom is just incredible. Now, with great zoom comes great responsibility, you can easily become a super creep very quickly with this sheer level of zoom, so use it carefully, use it correctly, and this feature basically puts Huawei above the competition for zoom and camera features in general. There's also an extensive pro mode that lets you actually shoot in RAW, so you have even more control over your photo edits. Portrait mode is great for adding some portrait depth for shots of people, and aperture mode is specifically made for objects and other things, and often looks quite realistic. You can adjust the aperture and even take these bokeh shots with the 5x camera as well, so there's a lot of flexibility here with adding bokeh and depth of field to your shots with software. 4K video looks just like photos with a solid dynamic range and colors, plus you can also use all the different cameras here for a diverse set of angles when shooting videos. B30 
Basically, this phone has modes for every type of photo you've ever wanted to take on your device. Now, some things you're never going to even touch ever, and some things just don't work that well, but if you need them, they're all here, which I guess is pretty good. So besides the whole camera setup here, this is your standard 2019 flagship smartphone. It does a lot of stuff right, and even more than you expect as well. The design is gorgeous, and it's a phone that feels great to hold. It also has all the features you expect, like water resistance, expandable storage with Huawei's new card, and an IR blaster for controlling your TV, which is an amazing feature that very few phones even have today. There's no headphone jack though, so you have to get the P30 if you really, really want a headphone jack, as the P30 Pro doesn't have it. The display is OLED and 6.4 inches, and it's pretty much full screen with only a tiny water drop notch up top and a small chin. It is 1080p, which isn't that bad, but if you're used to a super crispy Samsung display, it may be a noticeable difference for you. Besides that though, the display does look great, the colors are awesome, it's vibrant, it gets bright outside. What I'm not a fan of though is the curved glass on the front of the phone. Now, it does look absolutely beautiful, but the issue here though is the accidental touch rejection isn't that great. I often find myself locking the focus or exposure by accident, and it often ruins the chance to get really good shots, so I wish they would fix that, hopefully with software down the road. The P30 Pro also ditches the earpiece for a full display kind of speaker thing, and from my testing, I've noticed no differences here versus a standard earpiece in a regular device. It sounds that good. To achieve that full bezel-free look though, Huawei unfortunately ditched the Mate 20 Pro's Face ID system in favor of solely an in-display optical fingerprint scanner, which isn't advanced as Samsung's ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, but damn, it still does work well, and it's quick. Using Huawei's own Kirin 980 processor and 8GB of RAM, the phone feels crazy fast for daily usage and with Huawei's own processor, the optimizations allow the phone to last up to 2 days of usage with the 4200mAh cell. For me, I get easily a day and a half of battery life, which basically means a full day of usage plus a bit more the next day when I stop to charge it around lunchtime or the late afternoon. And during my review period for this device, I've used it intensively for taking pictures non-stop, testing out the zoom camera, the wide-angle camera, recording 4K videos, and alongside my usual regular social media browsing, video watching, and email typing on this device. So if you want great battery life, this device definitely has it. The phone also does have reverse wireless charging carried over from the Mate 20 Pro, which was the very first phone to actually have this feature, but once again, activating it here is a bit of a pain. You have to go into settings, then battery life, then toggle it on, then close settings, and you can put your devices together for wireless charging. And when it's time to actually stop and charge the phone, there's ultra fast, quick charging, and Qi wireless charging as well, so you're good on both those fronts. Overall, the P30 Pro kind of has it all, but the one thing that's a bit of a weakness for me is the software experience with Huawei's EMUI. There's a lot of stuff happening here, there's a whole bunch of half-baked features, Huawei apps that get in the way sometimes, there's a lot to digest with this phone's software. Once you kind of get a hold of what each feature means though, you can definitely harness the power of these features to your advantage, but it does take quite a bit of learning. I ended up switching to Nova Launcher and the Pixel Eye Compact to get rid of some of those Huawei icons and UI designs, but there are still some things about EMUI that I just don't really like. But the camera setup though lets me actually forgive some of the software issues I have with this device. There's really no other phone that has this suite of camera features and killer camera hardware. You're not going to use all of these camera features every single day and some things you may never even use at all. But if you're interested in photography and want to know that no matter the situation you're in, you're probably covered for pictures, the P30 Pro is the phone for you. The ultimate smartphone camera of 2019 so far. And big shout out to my boy Tasif Hussain for the help with some of the shots in this video. The guy's super talented, makes some amazing videos, and he's posting his own Huawei P30 coverage soon, so be sure to subscribe to him as well. So, what do you think of the Huawei P30 Pro? Let me know in the comments down below, and thank you for watching.